a vote from New York City over Bill de Blasio and Andrew Cuomo. I don't take money from Wall Street. I don't vote Democrat, kids. Those people are the party of Wall Street and stuff. What about the middle class and the poor people? A vote for me as your next president. Kids, I already ran for president once, and Hillary Clinton and her Wall Street friends and her CNN friends failed to count those Chicago votes. Look here, kids, your vote never counted for real. It's all just propaganda from the news. All your news is owned by Bert, uh, Rupert Murdoch and all those crooked billionaires and shit. Those people pick what goes on your CNN and what doesn't. I'm the prophet of God and shit, kids. Uh, fuck with me and stuff. Um, any of you people. If you kids don't give me my way, you're all going to have hell to pay for the rest of eternity, kids. You people can go ahead with your fucking science and be like, oh, heaven and hell doesn't exist and shit. Yeah, really? What else do you know? Ah, uh, that was it. Whatever, kids. None of you are the all-seeing eye or all-knowing motherfucker. That's me and stuff. And that's why I ran against Hillary Clinton. Because I'm young and I'm driven and I'm smart and I'm still learning. Uh, fuck you, Hillary Clinton. Like, seriously. Mind you, kids. And seeing that I'm the all-seeing eye and shit. You kids are only 32 years old. Nobody's older than that. No, it's fucking true, kids. There is no way you can prove to me that any of this shit was fucking here before 1985, kids. You can show me the black and white Elvis footage. You can show me all that Holocaust footage and shit. I'm not convinced, kids. All I know is what I know, and I'm the all seeing eye, and you're not, and stuff. <coughs> there is one version of the all seeing eye which is greater than mine, kids. But you kids will never ever know or even comprehend that, even with all your science. And that's the eye of God and stuff. At the end of the day, kids, no, I am not God, but I'm next to God and stuff. And God has appointed me to lead your stupid world and your stupid economy. Because crooked people like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump had their turns already and failed and stuff. You sponsored uh, the candidates to run for office, Donald Trump. You gave money for, to them for free and shit, Donald Trump. So yeah, dude, you've already been in office, dude, and you're a fucking loser, and you're crooked with a capital C. Look here, kids. Wait four fucking years and see what happens and all that stuff. I wish you people would and stuff. Damn. It's a rainy day, kids, and I'm homeless and shit. Time for me to go to the shelter. Why don't you come to the shelter with me? Bernie Sanders. I'm sure they'll love you there. And fuck you, Bernie Sanders. Vote for me over Bernie, dude. He's been in charge for 40 years. Let somebody young and honest take over. Why you crooked politicians want it so badly? Why don't you give up the power? You, you motherfuckers got paid already from your Wall Street friends and your legislation and shit. There you fucking go, bitch. Keep ignoring my campaign. Keep brushing it off and shit. I'm done, kids. At the end of the day, when it comes time for you kids to tell me to go stand up to those people again, I'm going to say, uh-uh, bitch. And anybody else that wants to have the balls to take a step, I'm going to say, back to the end of the line, bitch, because I did it first at Terry 2016. You want diva, bitch? You obviously haven't seen my videos or Chicago votes. I already ran for president once, kids. You have no idea what you're getting into and you don't have the clout and the fan base that I have. And if, even if any of you decided to run, my fans and voters will call you out and start calling you a fraud and phony and stuff. Whatever, kids. You people would fucking copy me because you got nothing else better to do and you're gel. But I'm still the Aussie and I and shit. I suppose you people want to copy me too. With that, well, you can fool other people, but you're not fooling me, kids. So there you fucking go. Whatever, kids. Come down here today, Bernie Sanders. It's raining out. Why don't you be nice, old man, and come down here with your umbrella, Bernie Sanders. And you can tell me how you've been senator for 40 years, 
and my clothes are made in China because of you, Bernie Sanders. Look here, kids. At the end of the day, you can say it's a popularity contest, kids, but it's really not. At the end of the day, who is capable first? Second of all, who's actually going to do it? Is clean, clean up your little Washington kids. All your politicians are crooked. Do you really think you stupid cars made in America, kids? Ask Governor Scott Walker. Does Scott Walker claims that Wisconsin, the state of Wisconsin, has some new jobs and stuff? Look here, kids. I don't give a flying fuck if your stupid bus is made in America or not, kids. At the end of the day, your economy's a front and your city's a lion shit, kids. Everything's fucking made in China, and that's Hillary Clinton's fault. And that's Donald Trump's fault, too, because Donald Trump donated money to candidates' uh, campaigns. So he, he bought in uh, candidates and stuff that have been senators and governors and stuff. So everything's your fault, Hillary Clinton. Everything's your fault, Donald Trump. And everything's your fault, Jill Stein and Gary Johnson. And everything's especially your fault, Bernie Sanders. You've been senator longer than any of those people. Look here, kids. Who's going to pay for your fire trucks? Your Bill de Blasio. And your MTA. And all that stuff, kids. There's your politician. Ballers and stuff. Why don't you politicians come down here and have a talk? A vote for me over those Wall Street people. A Facebook Terry 2016. You have a billion dollars in reclaim. One billion dollars, bitch. Look here, kids. And then there's votes that weren't counted. The people voted for me, and you didn't count those votes. Your vote doesn't count, kids. It really fucking doesn't, kids. I don't give a fuck who your president is. I really fucking don't, kids. Republican, Democrat, president, it's all the fucking same, kids. It really is. Both parties are backstabbing and untrustworthy and take money from the big Wall Street and stuff. And they enjoy doing it. And they, they parade themselves on it because they got no fucking conscience. Your mayor, Arizona, has no conscience. Your senator, John McCain, is a fucking loser. Come down here, John McCain, and, and like all that shit, dude. You just had surgery too, dude. You're getting old, haha. -ha. Like seriously, who's gonna change your fucking diaper, dude? Look here, kids. It's John McCain's war hero story. I don't give a flying fuck if you were in a war, John McCain. I think your story's lame. I really do. Come down here, John McCain, and tell me how you were a prisoner of war. Your prisoner of war story sucks. Look here, kids. You can say good things about John McCain all you want. He, he's a fucking dumbass and a loser, among other things. I, I'm halfway here, so like, there's your attack ad. Don't vote for John McCain, kids. The dude ran for president and failed. The dude wanted Sarah Palin to be his vice president. Mind you, dude, he probably didn't even pick Palin, dude. And the oil companies probably picked her. And the oil companies probably put Sarah Palin on the ballot in 2008, kids. And Sarah Palin hooked me up with your big oil friends. Um, Hillary Clinton hook me up with your Morgan Stanley friends. Look here, politicians. You clearly don't give a flying fuck about the country, kids. Your, your New York City is going to be a ghost town. Mark my fucking words, kids. It's going to be a ghost town with nothing but Wall Street traders, kids. Because that's the only people that can afford to live in your city, kids. Do you really think a middle-class person working at McDonald's can afford... Uh, $5,000 a month rent. And thanks to your crooked governor, New York, and your crooked mayor, and your crooked senator. I come down here, Chuck Schumer. Come down here, Governor Cuomo. Come down here, Bill DeBarge. Yeah, all there. 
Let them go. They're doing whatever. Yeah, they're, they're sucking on some Wall Street. Vote for me over those crooked people, kids. All your governors are crooked. All your mayors are crooked. And all 50 states, kids. How come in Hawaii, Hawaii's governor is crooked? How come in Wisconsin, Wisconsin governors are crooked? How come John McCain is so crooked? All your politicians are crooked and for sale and stuff, kids. Vote for me over your crooked politician. Do you people think this is a fucking game? These people make life choices for you. And give me your vote in 2020, kids. And demand a 2020 election. Your democracy's a lie, kids. When crooked capitalism holds weight, you, your democracy doesn't hold up against the crooked almighty dollar. For real, kids. Your freedom's a lie, and your democracy's a lie, and you have no say on who your candidates are, kids. They're picked for you by the big corporations like Big Oil and BP and stuff. A vote for me over Hillary Clinton. She made it that way. A vote for me over Chelsea Clinton, a Terry 2016 for 2020 president. A vote for me over Bernie Sanders. I'm poor and stuff. Bernie Sanders, come dig in a trash can with me for some fucking soda bottles, Bernie Sanders. You're filthy rich, Bernie Sanders, and you're a fraud and shit. Come down here and meet me by the trash can, Bernie Sanders, if you fucking dare. You're a fucking loser and a coward, Bernie Sanders. Like, seriously. I hope you fucking trip and bust your fucking face on the sidewalk. Bernie Sanders, like seriously, while trying to jump over the mud puddle. Come down here, Hillary Clinton. A crooked bitch, you lost an election. You're not better than me, Hillary Clinton. Come down here, bitch. I don't give a fuck on what you think about crooked Hillary. Hillary Clinton, you're no fucking hero, bitch. Come down here, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Hey, you have a billion dollars, Hillary Clinton. Come down here and tell me how you got a billion dollars, Honest Hillary. Whatever, kids. A vote for me over Donald Trump and all those crooked Republicans and those fake third-party people. What's with Republicans switching over to the independent status? Once a Republican, always a Republican. And once your economy's a front, it's always a front. Come down here and defend your stupid economy, Donald Trump. You've been saying nice things about it like you've been doing a great job. This shit's still made in China, Donald Trump. You're a fucking con artist, Donald Trump. Just like Mayor Bloomberg said so, kids. You people can watch that fucking clip at the end of the day, kids. But I'll tell you a little secret between you and me, people. Make America great again? That's a fucking lie, kids. This shit's still gonna be made in fucking China by the end of his first term. Vote for me over your crooked Republican and vote for me over your crooked Democrat. You Democrats brought us Donald Trump because you wanted to get your Wall Street friends involved in it. Vote for me over those Wall Street Washington insiders at Facebook Terry 2020 for president. Really, you are not a great president, Barack Obama. You are a food stamp president, among other things. I look here, Barack Obama, eight fucking years, and the economy's a mess, and all that stuff, Donald Trump. No, I meant Barack Obama, same person anyway. All you politicians are crooked. You're crooked like Barack Obama, and Barack goes crooked like Donald Trump, kids. Whatever. Oh, yeah. So what'd you get out of the eight years, huh? You got your own pipeline. You're going to call this the Obama pipeline because you were so great of a fucking president? No, bitch. You fucking wish you were Barack Obama. Come down here, Barack Obama, so I can criticize you on your eight years and stuff. You're a fucking coward, Barack Obama. Mind you. What's he doing today? Probably taking a fucking shit. You're probably taking a long fucking shit on the toilet, aren't you, Barack Obama? Because you're so important and stuff. 
a vote for me over those Democrats. Those people are friends with Wall Street and stuff. You win rigged elections, dude. Yeah, for real. And you didn't fix the broken election system and the economy's a mess, not just because of you, but you played a great part in that Barack Obama because you failed to have the intelligence, leadership, and integrity, and um, ideas, and honesty, among other things, to run this country. So at the end of the day, kids, you people can say, oh, this is Donald Trump's economy and stuff. No, kids, this is still Barack Obama's economy. Look here, kids, the economy is exactly the same fucking way as it was back in November. Nothing's changed yet. You kids haven't even seen the start of Donald Trump's economy. Oh, what a fright. Like, seriously. A vote for me over Donald Trump and vote for me over Hillary Clinton. And get your friend Crooked Hillary to come down here and say hello. And like, fuck you, Crooked Hillary. And get your Bernie Sanders friend to come down here. Oh, Bernie Sanders is too busy with his own pipeline. Seriously. A Bernie Sanders, why don't you give me half of your pipeline? Whatever, kids. This is the shit I'm talking about, kids. You are not a great president, Barack Obama. And if at the minimum, to say the least, Barack Obama, to say the least, you may not have been the worst president, Barack Obama, but you're pretty close to being the worst president in history. A George Bush is the worst president in history, kids. It's a long story short, that and Bill Clinton, because Bill Clinton and Crooked Hillary were Walmart's CEO and shareholder, Hillary Clinton. Crooked Hillary, buy me some Walmart stock, Hillary Clinton. You were, you were Walmart bitch, like seriously. A vote for me over Chelsea Clinton, her mom's Walmart CEO and shareholder, kids. Look here, kids, who's gonna, who's gonna clean up your Washington? Uh, this this piece of shit said he was going to do it. And Donald Trump already made a bunch of campaign promises and broke them already, kids. How many failures are you people going to accept? And how long are you going to wait? Meanwhile, your Bill de Blasio and your Governor Cuomo is just taken out of your back pocket, New York. For real. A vote for me over Governor Cuomo. He's got ties to Wall Street. A vote for me over Bill de Blasio. He's crooked and he's for sale and untrustworthy. All your politicians are crooked in all 50 states, kids. All your governors are crooked. All your senators are crooked. All your mayors are crooked and for sale. Hillary Clinton, how'd you get a billion dollars, bitch? Come be nice, lady, and give me five million dollars, Hillary Clinton. I'm homeless, bitch, for real. And I ran against you because I'm smarter and I'm cuter than you, Hillary Clinton. You're not my grandma, bitch. Of Facebook Terry 2016. Vote for me over Marco Rubio and vote for me um, over Bernie Sanders and vote for me over Jill Stein and vote for me over Gary Jackson or any of their children. All your politicians are crooked and for sale and untrustworthy kids. Your politicians don't give a flying fuck about your country, kids. That's why your small business went bye-bye and stuff. So at the end of the day, kids, I'm really not looking forward to leading you people. I really don't think you people even deserve it. I really don't, kids. But at the end of the day, God kind of told me to, but at the end of the day, I was going to fail either way because I get fucked. I get fucked either way, kids. Any way you cut it, I get the fucking short end of the stick. I always fucking do, kids. No, it's true, kids. You people get to go to the swimming pool and go, go play in the gardens and stuff like that. No, kids. I, I'm bumping and grinding it for a greater cause, and you people aren't and stuff. So, like, there you fucking go, kids. You know, you're welcome and shit, too. At Facebook Terry 2016. No, because I want to stop and have a moment. Like, Bernie Sanders, you gave FedEx tax breaks. Oh, fuck you, Bernie Sanders. Give me a tax break. No, I don't want a tax break from you, Bernie Sanders. It's it, it probably got a lot of small print and 
uh, legal mumbo jumbo involved. Whatever, Benny Sanders. You're a crooked senator. You're a crooked politician, dude. All your politicians are crooked, and Bernie Sanders is a politician. He's crooked, too. And John McCain's crooked. And John McCain, what's your net worth, dude? Come down here and tell me your net worth. Whatever it gets. Oh, it's Harry2016.com. So, I'm all sad today, kids. At the end, bottom line is I'm fucking sad because other people made me sad. That's really what it is, kids. It's just the phoniness and the, and the fucking... It's whatever, kids. Like, seriously. It really is. At the end of the day, kids, it, it, just pretend to be my fucking friend just so you can go get some fucking drugs. Like, seriously, kids. And... Th- this one-sided relationship with me and Gooch is not going anywhere, kids. I'm not doing anything for Gooch. Because I personally think that I am over it at this point, kids. And that's a good thing. It really is, kids. Because at the end of the day, I really don't think I have to be sad about it anymore. Because, like, you know, part of me would be sad about it and say, like, oh, I care about him and shit. But he doesn't care about himself. So, like, whatever, kids. You people made your beds, now fucking sleep in it and stuff. I made my bed. I'm a presidential candidate. People in Chicago voted for me. And your friends at CNN and Wall Street and Crooked Hillary didn't count those votes. Bernie Sanders, I ran against you, dude. And people in Chicago voted for me over you, Bernie, because they thought I'd make a better president. A vote for me over Bernie Sanders. I'm younger than he is, and I don't suck so much. Facebook slash Terry 2020 president. For me over Donald Trump, uh, Terry 20, Terry 2020 for president.com. Yeah, it's Facebook slash Terry 2020 for president.com. Um, I, this is my third attempt at making a video. So let's do it, kids. You're crooked Donald Trump and you're for sale and you bought your way in to the White House. Hillary Clinton would have done the same thing. Why are you rich people so mean? Why can't I be president? And Donald Trump, you got $10 billion, bitch. And come down here, Donald Trump. Come down here, Hillary Rodham Clinton. You're crooked, Hillary. Come down here and meet me in person and stuff. For real, Hillary Clinton. You have a billion dollars, Hillary Clinton. One billion dollars. And come down here and face me, Hillary Rodham Clinton. I'm not fucking scared of you, bitch. I'm really not. Look here, Hillary Clinton. This woman just gave me this, like, horrible look, kids. At the end of the day, I'd give you the same look if you came down here, Hillary Clinton. I'm not impressed by you, crooked Hillary. Like, seriously. Mind you, Hillary Clinton, you haven't even gone to one single Trump protest because you're for sale, Hillary Clinton. You have a billion dollars, bitch. Like, that's not nice. I'm poor, Hillary Clinton. And come down here, I ran against you, and people in Chicago voted for me. And your friends and Wall Street and CNN and um, the Electoral College failed to count those people in Chicago's votes. Your elections are a front, and so is your economy. And your Hillary Clinton knows it, because her friends at Morgan Stanley told her. Mind you, they donated how much to her fucking campaign? Hillary Clinton, you know all about rigged elections and the broken election system. And you were a senator for four years, bitch. And you got filthy rich and nothing got done. And you had eight years to fix the broken election system, Barack Obama. That's how you got in the White House, Barack Obama, through the, the broken election system. So you're well aware of how crooked and how rigged the elections are and that the American people's votes don't count. But Barack Obama kept his mouth shut for money and stuff. All your politicians are crooked, kids. Your Chris Christie's crooked, your Sarah Palin's crooked, and they're all filthy rich. Your news anchors are prostitute puppets, like Anderson Cooper, he's a prostitute, dude. A Rachel Maddow, is she, she's a one percenter, dude. You get tax breaks, Rachel Maddow, like seriously. And, and you're a super PAC and stuff. You influence elections. Rachel Maddow, you're an evil super PAC 
MSNBC, and you're an evil super PAC Fox News, and you're an evil super PAC PBS. Don't give to your PBS news station, kids. The, that PBS news station takes money from the Koch brothers. Your PBS news station. Look here, kids. You got people like Michael Bloomberg picking what goes on your, your stupid little PBS kids. At the end of the day, you kids really don't have not a fucking clue on how much this shit really costs to keep that fucking lamp lit all night so you can see on the sidewalk at night. You kids not have a fucking clue on how much any of this shit costs the state or the federal government. But you kids don't care because you're living in a bubble created by Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and all those rich people and stuff. Who's going to clean up your Washington kids? Barack Obama promised, there you go kids. Mind you, Donald Trump promised to um, repeal the, the health care thing. But now he's got his own health care law. Vote for me in 2020, and I'm just going to repeal Donald Trump care and Obama care, kids. You people don't need any of that shit. You people really fucking don't. Do you people really stupid enough to believe that you think you're going to fucking live forever, bitch? That you're going to be forever young? Look here, Hillary Clinton had a facelift. That's true. Buy me a facelift, Hillary Clinton. I'm your political opponent and you're too big to care or acknowledge that my ideas are more honest than yours and I'm more sincere than yours and people voted for me just like they voted for you and you're not better than me Hillary Clinton people voted for me too bitch fuck you Hillary Clinton yeah I did run for president bitch because people voted for me I worked for that shit Hillary Clinton no you, mind you Hillary Clinton you have a billion dollars, bitch. What are you doing asking Morgan Stanley and Bank of America for, for money for your campaign, Hillary Clinton? You could have just paid for your own campaign out of your billion dollar Clinton fortune and stuff. Mind you, the bitch probably got some fucking Haiti money. I don't know. I don't care, kids. But I know that bitch has a billion dollars, kids. And she thinks she's better than everybody. I was here when you were Senator Hillary Clinton. And you, you're just an egotistical bitch. Vote for me over Hillary and Chelsea of Facebook slash Terry 2020 for president. Oh, I just think I just had a change in main focus, kids. Seriously. I think uh, I, my campaign is going to, one of the main focuses, not the main one, but one of the main ones, is going to be to focus on the good people out there when there's so much negativity and stuff because the good people need acknowledgement. And um, it needs to be um, recognized and all that stuff. Seriously. A vote for me over crooked Bernie Sanders. And vote for me over your crooked politician. Um, and vote for me over Donald Trump. And Donald Trump, I make the better president than you because I'm younger and smarter and faster than you. And I have fans and voters to Donald Trump. You're not special, Donald Trump. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Whatever, kids. If that's your fucking president, because that ain't my president, I ran against him and stuff. That's my political opponent, and that's your fucking president, uh, Terry 2020 for president. I was going to sit here by myself and get some work done and stuff, but I'm too hot and bothered to, to get any work done, kids. I really am. Honestly, you people put too much on, on my burdens, like seriously, guys. You people are like, oh, there you go. There you put on your fucking You hold it tight. At the end of the day, kids, I can manage it all. But at the end of the day, you people should not shouldn't be so lazy as to put your problems onto one single person and expect other people to solve your problems for you. Somebody did me dirty. Look here, kids. This was supposed to be like a community thing and like you know, everybody had their part and everybody pitched in and stuff. You people haven't done a fucking thing for me and stuff. Really good. Whatever. And this is why I, I'm going to decide to leave because I'm not interested in doing this anymore. I've done it, kids, and you did it. And all that stuff. In the day, because I get bragging rights. I get to tell everybody for the rest of my life that I ran against Donald Trump and Crooked Hillary and you people fucking did it and stuff. Uh, I get bragging rights, kids, and, and you better believe, like, that's all you're going to hear out of my fucking mouth, kids. 
if you ran against Donald Trump, I'm sure I'd never hear the end of it. So there you go, kids. If I gotta fucking listen to your stories, you gotta listen to mine. I ran against Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, and you people didn't. And people actually voted for me. But no, kids. I'm glad I was able to bring this very important topic up that was not being uh, addressed and recognized properly or seriously or even in a timely manner. Million day kids. I guess you can call me one of the founders of the movement, kids. Probably the founder of the movement. But the end of the day, kids, I, I gave you kids a movement and all that stuff. Like, there you go. I really, personally, don't... I don't feel like leading you kids anymore. I really don't, kids. Because I used to have life and stuff. And I used to be happy. And I used to enjoy things. And I used to laugh at things. And I used to have friends and stuff. But no, you people are so lazy. You just said, oh, man. You, you deal with it, Terry. And I did deal with it. And you people didn't and stuff. That's why I ran for president. And you kids didn't and stuff. For real kids. I'm going to be a star one way than the other kids. I'm cool with being a star, kids. I don't need to be your fucking president. I really don't need to, kids. Nor do I really want to be. I really don't, kids. I, I've already done it, kids. I already ran for president. I already felt like a president. All that stuff, kids. I'm above it, kids. I really am. I, 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 you know, I've been there, done that, kids. And I'm glad to say that I accomplished all these wonderful things. But at the end of the day, kids, you know, that's just a snapshot of me in time. You know, I've changed again. And if you give me another six months, I'm going to change again. Facebook Terry 2020 for president. 